Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you what are the different opportunity status of high level pipelines and how to use them in order to automate uh, a few things in high level. So if I go to opportunities here, I can see a pipeline called main pipeline, which I created by going here. And uh, if you know what a pipeline is, it's basically uh, an implementation of the different stages of your sales process like new leads appointment booked canceled no show contract closed ghosted uh, and lots of different other stages so as you can see here there are a few opportunity statuses here uh, open one lost abandoned these are different opportunity statuses in high level and based on uh, a status change you can you know perform different kinds of automation so let's say there's a lead here called John Doe. And uh, this is the name of the opportunity who's in main pipeline and status is open. You can see the lead here. And if you change the, you know, if you change the opportunity status by either going here, uh, changing the status manually or what you can do is you can pull it to one abandoned or lost so if you pull it to one it will be removed from here because right now i'm just seeing the open leads if i click all i can see one tiles in my pipeline which is the main pipeline so if i go to automations let's see how i can perform automations based on the opportunity status changes so if i start a workflow from scratch Let's name this status change. So the use case for this workflow or this automation could be, let's say I have two pipelines, one lead pipeline, another is client pipeline. So whenever I uh, mark a lead as one in my leads pipeline, it should be removed from the leads pipeline and automatically go to the members pipeline or the client's pipeline, however you want to call it. In order to do that, I will go to uh, opportunity status changed. I'm going to say in a pipeline, main pipeline, you know, so this will be a main pipeline here. And if I say moved to status one, not open, it's, it should be one. So I'm saying if in main pipeline, any tile is moved to one or any tile is manually changed to one. What should I do? I should remove this opportunity from this pipeline because I don't want it here anymore. I want it in a different pipeline, which will be, a, you know, a client pipeline. All right. So I have created uh, another pipeline called client pipeline. So uh, if I go here, uh, I should say create or update opportunity because I'm removing it from the main pipeline and I want it in client pipeline in new client stage. The opportunity name should be the contact name and the lead value should be uh, the amount of business you got from that particular lead or prospect or client. So I'm just keeping this as it is. And let's, the status will be one, obviously, because we've marked this as one. And that's it. You can add a different, a lot of different tags like a new member or new client. Uh, you could send like an onboarding uh, email, SMS. You can send a welcome sms uh, email and lots of different stuff but i'm just showing you how you can perform different types of uh, automations based on an opportunity status changed so again the workflow trigger for this workflow automation would be opportunity status changed you can specify the pipeline you can uh, move to status one or any other opportunity status based on how you want it implemented don't forget to publish and save Thank you.